Sean McDermott confirming that rookie linebacker Dorian Williams is going to be working at middle linebacker for the 2023 Buffalo Bills in competition with Terrell Bernard, Tyrell Dotson, and Balin Spector, A.J. Klein. It is going to be a tough, tough competition here to see who ultimately wins it in the first year of Sean McDermott calling plays. Welcome to my channel here, Bills News Consolidated. We got to discuss it. Dorian Williams is definitely going to be working in at middle linebacker as a rookie, and I absolutely loving it. You know he ran that 4.4940, clearly the fastest linebacker for the Buffalo Bills right now. But what does he lack? He lacks NFL experience. He lacks being around Sean McDermott in this defense. You know, he doesn't quite understand all of the plays, even probably the verbiage of the entire playbook at this point. Now, what is the issue with that? You know, it all really takes all 11 on the defense to stop the run. And I really think one player being out of place, even if it is that middle linebacker, Dorian Williams, just one step out of place could lead to a huge gain by the opposing team. So really knowing that Dorian Williams is explosive, maybe doesn't really fully understand the defense right now, just kind of like this haymaker in the middle of the field, fast, athletic guy, but doesn't really fully understand the thing, all the defense, it's concerning. It's concerning. And really when you look at it, um, going against other teams – you know, you really have to be good and you have to be good in communication to the other teammates, right? But one thing that helps Dorian Williams is the fact that he's surrounded by so much talent. Even a Matt Milano, even this defensive line, Trey White, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, literally every single other player on this defense knows exactly what to do on a play-to-play -play basis. You know, I really think making sure that they're lined up to make sure that they're doing the right thing isn't necessarily needed because they already know what they're doing. But what it helps the middle linebacker is knowing what everyone is doing around you so you know how to fill the hole. You know how to fill that crease against the run or where to go in pass coverage, right? So it does help you understanding everyone's role on this defense and you still have to be able to communicate the plays and ver verbally <laughs> the, the plays to the rest of the defense. So Dorian Williams definitely has a tough hurdle, but keep in mind, he's 21 years old. We gave Tremaine Edmonds that same exact role when he was 19 years old, the youngest rookie to ever be drafted. And I think he did a decent job, you know? Um, you know, I think honestly, personally, I think Sean McDermott is going to try to simplify things on defense, but also be more aggressive, you know, get rid of being so complicated, but be a little bit more aggressive. So the other linebackers in this competition, to me, the guy that's been here the longest, Tyrell Dotson, I think has the clear advantage just because he's been here in the system with Sean McDermott. He's worked alongside Matt Milano, sat in the shadows of Tremaine Edmonds for this long. I hope you guys saw my game film study on Tyrell Dotson. Make sure you guys check that out. You guys will see. Um, again, not the biggest, not the biggest guy in the world, not going to be, you know, slamming offensive linemen to the ground, but I think he does a decent job shedding blocks. He does a decent job taking on offensive linemen, holding his own, being able to get around those guys, but Tyrell Dotson with the most experience, and I really, really am liking that with Tyrell Dotson. Um, Balin Spector, Terrell Bernard, both coming into the Buffalo Bills last year, only one year of experience under their belt, but being around Sean McDermott, being around this defense, being around Tremaine Edmonds and Matt Milano, seeing how things work, understanding this playbook already going into this year gives them a huge, huge advantage. Even if they don't have the athletic ability of a Dorian Williams, maybe they didn't run a 4.4940. You know, uh, Balin Spector ran a 4.6. Terrell Bernard ran a 4.65. Now, the differences between the two, I see Terrell Bernard is a little bit taller, and I think he is probably top line just as fast as Balin Spector. But the thing is, Balin Spector being a little bit shorter, I think he is a little bit more agile. You know, he's got a little bit better break on the football change of direction ability is a little bit better for Balin Spector versus Terrell Bernard. But again, Terrell Bernard is like an inch or two taller than Balin Spector. 
So when you're just looking at the athletic ability and overall size and makeup of both those players, they're somewhat similar. They're somewhat similar. So what is going to happen here when it comes down to the instincts and the feel and the overall understanding of this defense? And rumor is, is that Balin Spector and I believe Terrell Bernard both stayed here all off season working here. And that's just huge. And looking at the pictures, I think Bernard looks jacked up. Uh, they look ready to go. They definitely look ready to go in this competition. And to me, AJ Klein, just being that older veteran, going from that Super Bowl in the Carolina Panthers with Sean McDermott, just bringing that experience, the, knowing what it takes to get there, knowing what Sean McDermott was as a defensive co coordinator in Carolina, being able to, to be that captain, that advocate on the field, for our, our defensive coordinator now, Sean McDermott, pretty much. And I really think he's going to be primarily a backup type linebacker unless teams somehow force the Buffalo Bills to get into the base defense. And that brings up my final point here. They all do certain things really well. <clears throat> and I think a rotation would be maybe wise. We see a rotation on this defensive line, you know, trying to keep guys pr fresh throughout the season. I brought up potentially rotating in a guy for Taron Johnson, who had statistically the highest snap count on this defense last year at 92%. You know, maybe rotate a, a Dorian Williams on third and long situations that who's maybe better in pass coverage that could play man, that could play a little bit of zone and pass coverage. You know, I think maybe mixing in guys in certain downs and distances could actually be wise or based up on, on matchups. So I'm really absolutely loving, you know, Brandon Bean puts this team together, free agency via NFL draft, brings in Dorian Williams, passes it along to Sean McDermott. Sean McDermott puts his stamp, his fingerprint on things, gives rookie Dorian Williams opportunity to win this middle linebacker competition between Terrell Bernard, Balin Spector, Tyrell Dotson, A.J. Klein, and Sean McDermott's first year of calling plays for the Buffalo Bills. This is going to be absolutely huge for Bills Mafia. So whether you want to pick the athletic freak, the Tarzan, Dorian Williams, that middle linebacker that might not fully understand the NFL, might not fully understand all the players put in roles all around him, but just brings such a ferocious hit and attitude at that middle linebacker position, or you bring in some steady hands here with the Terrell Dotson, Tyrell, uh, Terrell Bernard, you know, some experience there. And, uh, baby, I'm, I'm hyped up for this season. I can't wait to see who is going to ride to this occasion here. We're going to take a look at all the film study, all the reps and training camp. Get hyped up, Bills Mafia. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am driving across country out west, so I'm going to try to do videos every day, but the background, even the thumbnails, are probably going to change a little bit for, <laughs> for the time being. But appreciate you guys. Go Bills.